you still here with your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game, and that is put it on some. Coach Prime has even more rumors swirling, y'all. God damn. We've gone from Auburn to Nebraska. Now we got USF, South Florida, and Colorado. As I take, they telling me earlier today, Colorado is offered them the job, or maybe that was yesterday. I don't know. Whatever the case, let's talk about it. But before we talk about it, make sure y'all listen to this announcement. What it is, focus your homeboy first, and I'm giving y'all the opportunity to become one of the realest ones. That's right. I'm giving y'all the opportunity to become an official member of my channel. You'll get badges that make you stand out amongst all the other real ones. You'll get an opportunity to use custom emojis. You'll get exclusive updates and no stuff that other real ones just don't. Like stuff about upcoming shows, new music that be, might be coming out, you know, all that kind of stuff. You'll have an opportunity to participate in members-only polls. Maybe you give your views on who I should interview next or show topics that I could do. You feel me? Uh, I don't usually read or reply to comments, but I will read and reply to yours if you're a member. You feel me? You'll get a free statement tee. That's statement tee. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement. And you'll have the opportunity to periodically be a guest on Put It On Some. So, Make sure y'all join and become one of the realest ones. Make sure y'all do that real ones and become one of the realest ones. You understand? I would love to have y'all as an official member of the First Letter Channel. You feel me? Let's talk about this, though, y'all. Let's talk about this in the realest way possible. That's what we do here. Coach Prime got a goddamn nip this in the bud. He does, man. This shit is hurting recruiting. I, I I I see some folks acting like we as Jackson State fans should be happy that somebody wants our coach. On the one hand, that's true because we win it. You feel me? But on the other hand, that is horrible for recruiting. Like, even if he stays, we might miss out on a commitment from somebody if this shit ain't gone and nipped in the bud because opposing coach is going to swing through and say, oh, yeah, I know he ain't going to be there. So, coach, we need you to go ahead and goddamn just put it on some. I let these motherfuckers know you're going to stay at Jackson State University. Colorado, wait, what? Colorado? That ain't the move, Coach. South Florida ain't the fucking move. That's the move. The move is Jack State. I told you before, the move is Jack State. The move ain't no damn South Florida, no Colorado. Where the move is in it? You bring Colorado back to prominence. Where's, where's the move in it? Ain't no movie. This is it. This is prime time. But, Coach, you're hurting your goddamn recruit. You're shooting yourself in the foot, metaphorically speaking. Because one of the things we want to do is show up the line, for instance. You keep talking about that. Now, I think our, our young bloods have done a good job this year. Overall, okay, we've had a problem with some of those false star penalties and holding, shit like that. Okay, but for the most part, it's been an improvement over last year. As a result, we got a thousand yard rush, for example. Okay, but like to up the ante in scheduling games, coach, you 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 talked about wanting to get those big boys down there. So we got to recruit hard. They got to know that that you're gonna be there. They got to know that. This is their future. 
And I know the transfer portal makes things easy. So, if, like, if if they did commit, and let's say you just stay with Jack stay one more year, they can go. But that's all that instability, all the moving around, man, kids don't want their parents showing up, don't want that. So, Coach, we need you to go ahead and be decisive. Because all this flirting with these other motherfuckers, like, what, 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 no, fuck all that, Coach. You too old over there. You too grown for that. This is like oh, uh, coming to America. Y'all, y'all OGs, y'all know about coming to America. Hopefully y'all BGs have seen it as well. I consider it the greatest comedy of all time. That's just me. The first one, not this, this bullshit second one, but that's a whole nother story. The first one. Yeah, I know that King Joffe Jofa sent his son, I came to America. Basically the Go around New York City and uh, uh, fuck around with all the girls and shit like that and be flattered and wined and dined and do his thing, you know, get all that shit out of his system so he can go back home and marry uh, the, I think the lady's name was your money or something like that, you know, the arranged marriage. But the king said, fuck all that. He knew what he wanted. He knew what he wanted. And he found him in Lisa McDowell. You feel me? Coach, you already found what you want. You already found what you need, Coach. You found it at Jack State University. I saw a tweet where you said something about you're not a gambling man, but you always bet on black 21. Talk about yourself, of course. You got well, Coach Jack State University was the, first, was the first to bet on you. We were the first. And we didn't give a fuck about all this shit that these motherfuckers up here talking about. Uh, uh, failed prime prep. They try, they, they, what, one reporter trying to act like a, a university presidents and these big PWIs are hesitant to hire you coach because of that jack state give a fuck about that not saying that jack state just takes anybody doesn't care about their ethics or their uh, lack of business acumen or anything like that no we just we just know the game it's deeper than that it's kind of like my situation fresh out of college graduated number one and then i'm trying to get a job but motherfuckers not hiring me because a police officer attacked me and I defended myself against that punk bitch. But when I got hired for my first job out of college, this queen, Miss Felicia Jackson, one of my OGs, she was a principal and she understood. She knew that wasn't my character. She knew, she knew how the police do us in America. And she said, come on. And the rest was history. I turned out to be a great teacher and coach. But see, sometimes it takes your people to understand you. Sometimes it takes your people to get you. Because we come from the culture and we know what you've been through and we can see past what these other folks can't see past. Because you ain't got the complexion for the connection for the protection. Yep, you're protected by us. So we need you to go ahead and nip this shit in the bud, coach, and commit. We need you to commit. You on Twitter and your you coaches, Coach Brewster, he out there, play for Prime, and one of my real ones, the, the shout out, I think that was Donna Brown. Shout out, Queen. She said, where? Uh, where? Real shit. Real question. Needs to be asked. Because it's like we want these kids to commit. We need y'all to commit. And again, if it's about money for your assistance, God damn it, let the assistants go take these jobs. Let the assistants go be on the staff of USF in Colorado. Let the assistants go be on the staff of Nebraska and Auburn. Let the assistants go do that. But you know what? 
They don't want your assistance coach because they don't think y'all can really coach. They only think you can recruit. And that's because of your name. They think you're just a celebrity who can bring in kids to play. Like you the Pied Piper and black boys going to follow your ass around the country wherever you may go. That's what they think. Come on, coach, and you know it. You know it, coach. So I told you, they keep trying to pull you from Jack State, goddammit, and I'm going to keep pulling you towards. They recruiting you, and I'm recruiting you too, goddammit. Give a fuck. Because it's bigger than this goddamn football. It's bigger. This can this is the black renaissance. Just keep telling, I'm gonna keep saying it. We're in the midst of the black renaissance. We must keep the momentum. And you're part of that coach. But we need you to go ahead and commit. Go ahead and commit. A verbal commitment will suffice right now. Make it public. You kill social media, do it on social media. And watch these four and five stars. Come on. Might get us on one of these big ham hock eating motherfuckers to come play on that line for us. A big 6'6", 370 pound left tackle with some feet on it. Okay. But he just needs you to commit, coach. Before he commit, he needs you to commit, coach. You might just get that. Transfer portal is jumping. But before they make that commitment, they need you to commit, coach. That's what they need, coach. That's what we need as well. So I hope that much of what I have said is irrelevant by the time I drop this. Because to my understanding, the young men should be back in Jackson right now as I take this Saturday night. Sunday, y'all supposed to have y'all meetings. Hopefully in the meeting, you'll you, you make your commitment known. you let those youngins know that you ain't going nowhere. Okay? And then watch that transfer portal just going to be jumping. Watch now. You like the fish. You're going to be reeling them motherfuckers in, coach. Before they commit, before they bite, we need you to commit. Okay? Put it on some. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?